So today we will going to demonstrate over uh, the SAR interferometry. How we are going to do the SAR interferometry? So that I am going to explain now. So very first steps before we go to the uh, interferogram generation step. The first things which we have to do that is um, the baseline estimations. So baseline estimation is the very first process which you have to run uh, before go for this particular process. So let's start with the demonstrations we have here under the sarscape okay so if you go sarscape and uh, uh, under this interferometric tools you have this baseline estimation tools so simply click on that okay so here you need to give your input image input reference image so in the insert data sets i will take this one is my first uh, uh, in reference image and uh, this is my slave image is uh, 16 which is my secondary input go for optionals nothing is required but here this will not going to create code. this will going to give you uh, just click on the execute it will give you the 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 statistical values which will be give you idea okay this two scenes is be suitable <coughs> for the the interferometric process for the dam generation or not so that it will give uh, the uh, information so how will get so simply you see here uh, if you come uh, and then you can see here it is showing the normal baselines will be this and uh, this is the potentially suitable for the interferometric amplitude training. So uh, this uh, files are suitable for uh, potential T is there for the interferometry so I can go for the further process. So let's start uh, the interferometric process. So very first process we are going to do that is the um, uh, interprogram generation so you have to go under the basics uh, under the sarscape then you have to come to the basics under the uh, sorry uh, you have to come to the interferometric tool under the informatic tool you have the phase processing and then first steps will be the interferogram generations so let's do it so now in the input data we need to give uh, the same uh, the uh, first image the image we will provide and then second we are providing this is the slave image or the secondary input optional file is not required the dim which is already given you if either you already have them use that particular demo otherwise you can go with the downloaded demo also okay and you can process it for parameters as of now uh, you need not to change here but uh, uh, for this particular uh, satellite is a sorry satellites okay uh, a sorry uh, satellites we have so what that i am doing so that's why i am taking the uh, range location one and azimuth locations as a four okay so rest of the things i will uh, make uh, uh, same but uh, the gate the quasi square pixels which is around the 15 meter ground resolutions okay the whole uh, interferometric process output will be filed for this each steps of automatically given the suffix of the file name which we will going to provide so automatically it will take okay so uh, the pixel uh, it will find so let's uh, start uh, the output generation okay so before that you can give some name over it so the rest of the file it will take the same name for uh, the full process okay so as uh, we mentioned over here suppose the last vegas okay okay so simply click on open and then to see your files is ready so let's uh, execute it and wait for the results so once the results will come so we're going to see the results so now results is came as you see the interprogram is generated so if you just close this and open so see here this is your face image okay so if you click and put a color so you will get the face image like this but anyway as of now i will just change it in a grayscale but see there is a lot of uh, spittle noise will be there which uh, we will going to remove with the next step which we will going to apply that is the, the adaptive filter and coherition generations okay to removing this pickle filter so and with that we will generate one more output that is a coherence okay so we need to go to this um, adaptive filter and coherence generation file okay so you need to give this as an input okay so just let's go to the output folder okay so you see if i give this din file which is our output of that okay the first uh, steps like in the program this is an interprogram file so if you upload it automatically the power file like reference and secondary file or master and slave files will upload automatically so in parameter you just make the coherence generations as a true 
and uh, we will use the adaptive uh, filter to also and the filtering method we will going to use here as a gold string okay so uh, let's uh, run this and uh, get uh, see what is the result of this so we can simply click on the execute so let's wait for the results so the results came so as you seen here there is a uh, two outputs which we got one is our the, the the coherence image this is first one is the coherence image and second one is the you see here this is the uh, filter file filter in the program file so if you see the downward this is uh, quite uh, you see there is a lot of uh, speckle will be there which is removed so if you open in the color so you will see a smooth image like this okay so that is the way what we are doing the uh, adaptive filter okay so i will make it again same now the next steps which we have to do uh, this is our coherence image so next this will be input for another various uh, important input for the uh, face unwrapping so uh, for this i will go to the face unwrapping okay and in the face unwrapping i will going to give input of this particular file coherence so which we will generate over there so coherence file you need to select rest the interprogram file will uh, means interprogram filter file will automatically upload okay in the parameter uh, there is a different method unwrapping method will be there so here i am going to apply the the region grown method okay and then the coherence uh, threshold value i am just changing it uh, 18 0 0.18 for this particular sorry satellite uh, data sets which we are actually using and then unwrapping decompositions i will make it uh, as it is okay and then simply go here and then click on execute and let's wait for the results so as we seen these results will came okay so you just close this and this is your unwrap file phase unwrap file so if you just use the color you can see uh, this is the unwrap file okay phase unwrap file how it is looking like anyway we make it as a great scale and uh, this is your coherence so already you know understand about that now the next steps which we'll do that is a very important which is uh, before going to the refinement and reflecting we have to could generate the gcps and that we will going to generate over the secondary image so drag this image and put it in the top okay and you need to collect some gcps over here if you have the gcps then you can use that so that directly as a shape file for the input but here we don't have so i'm creating it so for that i will select it i will go to the file okay i will go to the new and i will create a new layer as a vector layer okay so over the secondary file i will going to generate gcps dot pdf you have to give this as a file name and you have to change it as a point okay then only it will save as a shape, shape file so gcps dot pdf so now simply click on okay now you have to take collection of few points where there is a flatting area so you need to collect the points in that particular locations so i will just going to take in the flat area some points okay so just like here i am just taking one two three four okay and then five i will take two more one two okay and two more i will take from here one and two okay so this is the way we just uh, take in few data sets i'm no, sorry the gcp so last gcp points which you will take just click on that and uh, accept it right click on that and accept the individual points okay so once you did that so now you have to save it so right click you can go to the save as okay and uh, you see this is the cvs file so you can simply save it now this file is required for the uh, gcp creations okay so from where you will do the gcp creations you need to go down here and under this uh, general tool okay so we have this uh, generate ground control point tool so simply click on that and here we need to upload the reference image is basically your secondary image so don't be confused on that okay so no uh, click over here and select the secondary image and simply click on okay now click on the next and upload your gcp which you just uh, created now huh? so that you need to upload so you come here okay and uh, uh, in the insert oh sorry not from here you can go to your output uh there only you save it okay so come to here and this is the shape files which you need to select and simply click on okay so all the gcps will upload 
okay then uh, this cartography system is fine global you can select like that only now it will convert your gcp in xml which will going to get uh, which will be a important out uh, in, input for your next steps okay refinement and reflatting so this file is required okay so compulsory steps so simply click on finish so once it is done so we can go for the next step so all uh, points is taken say perfectly now we move back to the phase generations okay and under the phase generations uh, processing we are having these steps this refinement and reflattening just double click on this so you just need to give input of this particular file cc file so rest of the thing will upload automatically because i saved all the output in the same folder so just select the cc and see rest of the things will upload but this refinement gcp you have to upload separately so just click on that and see uh, it is there already xml file so simply click on ok now it is done optionally you can change so nothing is required to change in optional so this is a dem uh, system cartographic so in this case uh, you require to uh, give input of your uh, the dem okay so whatever you have with us so simply i will go and uh, give that input which i am giving that time also for the dem output so i will go here okay so here in the uh, insa we have this srtm dem so simply give as an input there now come to the parameters so no need to change anything over here okay so you can simply uh, go to the output files and uh, simply execute it and wait for the results okay so this will be the second uh, last results for the process so now you see the results came and it is showing the informations also so i just click ok and uh, i will close this and this is your final file okay so this will file which we need to give output input for my two process see this two process will be there either we can calculate the height or uh, we can see the displacement but this data sets is suitable for height generation means we will going to convert the dem okay so phase to height conversions and uh, geocoding that process will do together so for this uh, you need to give the again the coherence as an input so go back to this here i will give as an input rest of the file will upload automatically okay so in the geographic coordinate so you can select uh, utm wise a zone number also if you want so go to the projected utm w94 northern hemisphere so this is basically i think uh, the locations which is uh, coming at is zone uh, 11 so you can select zone 11 here and then simply click on ok so now the parameters here a uh, few parameters you need to set before you start processing like I will change the dimension it is 15 and uh, 15 okay so this is the relax interpolations I will make it as a true and dumpy uh, removal also I will make it as a true. so this is the two important steps which we need to perform before start processing the rest of the things will find you can simply go to the output and simply execute the results so let's wait for the final results and yes this output is ready if you see if you click ok and then close it and you see this is the this is your file uh, the dem will be there in a down so you just switch off this file and you can see this is the final output that is your dem okay so you see this is a final output which is your dem so rest of the things i will just switch off uh, okay so i will just want my final on geocoded dem so this is the results okay so this is the dem which we have and uh, that is the results of this so if you want to see uh, with the color and uh, all that also you can give so so with your high and low value over the digital elevation data how it is looking so that's all for this uh, <coughs> interferometric process to uh, to phase to high conversions and the dem generations okay so we are using dem we can generate from the interferometric phase and this is the full process of that i hope it will be suitable for a uh, lot of people thank you thank you very much